will know about and understand about what is time, speed and distance, right? So, you already know what is the speed in your uh, right now also you will be travelling at some speeds like 80 km per hour, 60 km per hour, right? You all like bikes, you will be riding at 120 km per hour, right? So, what is the exact meaning of that one, right? So, for example, if somebody says, I am travelling at 80 km per hour, that means what they are trying to say is, they are covering nearly 80 km in 1 hour, right? In 1 hour. So, that's a basic thing about 80 km per hour. So, in the same way, let us understand some basic things in time speed and distance. So, for example, first of all, what we need to understand? We need to understand about the formula. What is the formula? What is the formula is? Speed is equal to what? Your distance divided by time, right? Distance divided by time. Distance divided by time. Now, for example, if you are covering a distance of 5 km, if you are covering the distance of 5 km in 1 hour, that means what is your speed? Your speed can be calculated as what? 5 km divided by what? 1 hour. So that is nothing but what? 5 km per hour. Right? So now, if you see your speedometer in a vehicle, it will be always be varying, right? It will always be varying. For example, if you start your if you start your journey from point A to point B, you will start from where? You will start from zero, right? You will give an acceleration, it will go to some point, again it will come back due to traffic and everything, speed will be reducing, right? So, whenever, whatever the vehicle gives you, that is called as what? Instantaneous speed for that moment. But whatever in a problem what we are doing, it will be always about average speed. It will be always about what? Average speed. And these are all the ideal conditions what we discuss. So, this is the basic thing about what? Speed is equal to what? Distance divided by time. So, in, in the form of definition, if I want to say, how the distance covered in a unit time, or it is a ratio of distance covered to time taken for it, right? So, that's the one thing. So, next thing is, let us understand in detail about this. For example, here see, S is equal to what now? D divided by T. In this formula, if I make D as a constant, what? D as a constant. What is the D here? Distance. So, what does it say means? Speed is inversely proportional to what? T. Speed is inversely proportional to what? So that means the distance is constant. For example, the distance may be 5 km, that's a constant. If you travel at a high speed, if you travel at a high speed, you will cover the same distance in less amount of time, right? Less amount of time. In the same way, if you cover, if you travel at a less amount of speed, you will cover the same distance in higher amount of time, right? So this is about S is inversely proportional to T. In the same, in the same way, if I say T is a constant, if I say what? T is a constant. So that will be what? Speed is directly proportional to what? Distance. For example, if I take T as 10 minutes, the 10 one is only 10 minutes. If you want to cover a higher distance, you need to travel at high speed. If you want to cover a less distance, you need to travel at a lesser speed, right? So the speed is directly proportional to what? Distance when time is constant. So in the same way, if I take speed as a constant, speed as what? Constant. So that means I will take constant speed of how much? Around 10 km per hour. So what does it say here? So, if speed is constant, time is directly proportional to what? Distance. Time is directly proportional to what? Distance. That means if you are traveling at a 10 km per hour, and if you want to cover a higher amount of distance, you need to travel what? For a longer amount of time, right? In the same way, if you want to cover a less distance, you need to travel for less amount of time. It may be, it may look simple, right? But it's a, it's, it's a basic understanding of time, speed and distance while we solve the problems, okay? For example, using uh, this concept, let us understand the problem, okay? So now the question is, three cars are traveling at speeds is in the ratio of what? 2 is to 3 is to 5. So now what we need to find out? Find what is the ratio of distance covered and also the time taken, right? So in this question, only the speeds ratio is given. So that means to say, what is the formula we know? Speed is equal to what? Distance divided by time. What is speed is equal to? Distance divided by time. So here, there are three quantities, right? Three quantities. If, you, if any of the two quantities is given, we can easily find the third quantity. That means, if distance time is given, we can easily find speed. If speed and distance is given, time, we can, we can easily find it. And if time and distance is given, time and speed is given, then we can easily also find distance. Correct? But here if you see, there is only one parameter. That is what? Speed ratio is not given. What we need to find? We need to find the ratio of distance covered and we also need to cover the, and we also need to find what? Ratios of time taken. So, this can be done in what? So, what we already know? We know already what? Speed is directly proportional to what? Distance. Speed is directly proportional to what? Distance. And also, speed is inversely proportional to time. Speed is inversely proportional to time. So, so answer. 
So ratio of ratio of distance covered is we already know what speed is directly proportional to distance. So whatever the same ratio is there, that will be our answer. So that will be two is to three is to five. So this is first question answer. Okay. And the second question is what we need to find the ratio of time taken, right? Ratio of ratio of time taken. Time taken, right? So from here, what we can understand? Speed is inversely proportional to time. That means whatever the speed value is there, if you reverse it, you will get what? The time taken. So what we will do? This is the ratio, speed ratio. So what we will do is we will just take a reciprocal of it. That is 1 over 2, 1 over 3 and 1 over 5. Right? 1 over 2, 1 over 3 and 1 over 5. We already know the ratio should not be in the form of what? Fraction or decibel for ideal format. So what we will do is we need to convert it to a perfect number. To convert it to a perfect number, what we will do? We will take the LCM of it. What is the LCM of 2, 3 and 5? It's around 30. So LCM of 2, 3 and 5 is 30. So what we will do is we will take this 30 number and we will multiply. So what will become? 15 is to 10 is to 6. So this is our answer. So the question is solved now. So the ratio of distance code is 2 is to 3 is to 5 and the ratio of time taken is 15 is to 10 is to 6. So now we will discuss about average speed. So what is the average speed definition? Average speed definition is total distance covered total distance cover divided by total time taken total time taken okay total time taken so what is the average speed total distance cover divided by total time taken okay here we need to discuss two cases what are those two cases yes let us see case one case one that means we need to find the average, average speed. So that means we need to know about what is the total distance covered and what is the total time taken. For example, if I say a 600 kilometer is covered in 10 hours, so what is the average speed? 600 divided by 10, it is around 60 kilometers per hour. But there are different cases here. That means what I am trying to say is if an equal amount of distance, for example, point, sorry, point A to point B. Point A to what? Point B. You are travelling from where to where? Point A to point B. Now, this has two distance. One is L and another one is what? 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 L itself. Now, if you are travelling this much amount of distance in with a speed of x kilometer per hour, x kilometer per hour and this much amount of distance which is also equal to the previous distance as y kilometer per hour, then from directly using this formula, we cannot find the answer. So, the direct formula is here average speed is equal to average speed is equal to 2 into x y divided by x plus y 2 into x y divided by x plus y so in the same way if three distances are given if three distances are given then three equal distances covered in with a speed of x kilometer per hour y kilometer per hour and z kilometer per hour then the average speed is equal to 3 into x y z divided by x into y plus y into z plus z into x right so in this case what we understood equal amount of distance but the speed with which that equal amount of distance is covered is what is different so this is the average speed thing now let us go for case 2 what is go for case 2 here what we do again you need to go from point a to point b but the distance which you need to cover is l1 and l2 the distance which you are covering l1 let us say you are driving with an x kilometer per hour and l2 with what y kilometer per hour y kilometer per hour so what is the average speed in this case what is the average speed in this case so average speed in this case so in this case what is happening here different amount of different quantities of distance different distance has been covered with what different speed so what is the what is the average speed here? so average speed in this case is l1 plus l2 divided by l1 divided by x plus l2 divided by y as the distance if you take l3 also and the speed is z also then you can include one more here okay so this is about average speed concept 